Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, March 23rd, 2018. This week, working with My Story templates in Photoshop and Elements, extending the timeline. Katie Pertit has a wonderful new line of My Story templates and coordinating products that make it really easy to document your own life story or that of a loved one. The templates feature a handy timeline that runs up the side of the page. The timeline year markers are fully customizable so that you can document the dates relevant to your own story. It's a terrific way to give continuity to your project and also give a context for each page. When you print your finished page, you're likely to choose full bleed print, which carries the image across the whole page without leaving a border. Many printers expand the page or expand the image a small amount to assure full coverage. But doing so can sometimes cut off a portion of the border around your finished page. To ensure that your timeline remains intact, you may want to move it slightly toward the center of the page, leaving a border or a gutter on the edge. But you'll also want to ensure that the timeline lines extend all the way to the edge of the print. Here's how. Open a My Story template in Photoshop or Elements and get the Move tool. It's the first tool at the top of the tool bin. In the Layers panel, select the top layer of the document. Hold the Shift key and then scroll down and select the last layer of the timeline. This will highlight all the layers except for the background and the brushwork. You want to leave those intact but this allows you to move all of them together. Now use the right or the left arrow key to move the selected layers to the right or to the left. I'm moving over to the right so I can extend my left hand timeline. Leave just enough edge to leave a border for your printing and then click on the timeline lines layer. You'll want to make sure it's the only layer selected. You'll see a box around the lines layer at this point, and so move your cursor to the center of the timeline. Position it over the square there at the center, and you'll see that the cursor changes to a double arrow. Click and drag left or right to stretch the timeline all the way out to the edge of the page. Tick the check mark to confirm. In Photoshop, this will be up here in the options bar, in Photoshop Elements, the check mark will appear right under the layer. Using this technique, you'll have the confidence that your timeline will remain intact after printing and that the lines will extend all the way to the edge of the printed page. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.